Hey guys, welcome to Rising Vibrations, Amiga. If you've had to deal with a narcissistic personality, this reading will be for you. I am going to look at each one of the zodiac signs per element, so it could be sun, moon, rising, and in particular Venus sign. Uh, for a person you may have to deal with or a person who you dealt with who was a narcissist, so we're gonna look at it per zodiac sign. Don't forget that each one of us have a bit of a narcissistic tendency because it's about the ego and putting yourself first. I look at a narcissist as someone who's um, really taken it to the next level in terms of their exaggerated ability to exploit others who they supposedly love and care for. So I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope that you can take something away from it that might be helpful in helping you to cope with or manage your narcissistic or the narcissist in your life. So thank you and enjoy the readings. Bye-bye. This is for the Pisces. It's your Pisces narcissistic. Pisces who you can't get away from, who's still a part of your life, who will be a part of your life, they're a permanent picture. Could be a partner, someone you're married to. This is a Cancer Virgo energy. This is caring. Um, you're attached to them and you have to deal with them and cope with them. This is for your narcissistic Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's the best way to deal with them right now? We have the Piper. I'll show the cards to you guys later. Uh, and we have um, depression. So I feel... <laughs> I feel like those of you, I'm not laughing, I feel like those of you who are dealing with the narcissistic Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, that they're purposely being led astray because they want to be led astray. Um, they don't want to deal with reality. Reality is too painful for them to deal with right now, the narcissistic. I see sun, moon, rising, and Venus. They don't want to deal with reality right now. I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. They're not in a position where they're ready to deal with reality. Therefore, whatever allows them to, they don't, they want this, which is a fleeting moment in life. You know, the kids even being led away by this piper, by his mystical tune, which puts them in a trance. And this guy who's depressed, uh, sad. Uh, anything that will allow them to escape the prison of their mind that could be drugs, alcohol, sex, it don't matter. This is uh, Eight of Cups. Anything that will allow them to escape, that was the Seven of Wands, anything that will allow them to escape reality um, or the truth of a matter, uh, they will do. This is also for those of you who are trying to break up, this, you know, Wands. I'm going to go ahead and put these back and see if they show back up. Um, again, they want to escape with this Ace of Cups. They don't want to deal with reality right now. This can be the biggest problem you're having with the Pisces, narcissistic personality, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. They don't want to face reality. They don't want to face reality, especially right now. And by especially right now, I just mean perhaps with, I think Neptune is in Pisces right now. Mm -hmm. And if they have any challenges that they're dealing with mentally, even like depression or any other um, issue, health issues even, they don't want to deal with it right now. They just don't want to deal with it. They're, they're not really willing to face it. the four of pentacles we have major arcana strain we have the king of swords it's really a lot of cards and we have major arcana the emperor the emperor keeps showing up in a lot of readings today i'm starting to see and the king of swords i've seen all these cards already today it's interesting let me see what this means guys it's for pisces Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Narcissistic Personality. That's the best way to cope with their energy right now. People are stuck with them in their life. We have the Knight of Cups. That's where to cope with the Narcissist. We have the Ace of Swords. 
So it's like you want to bring reason and reality to them. And while this king of swords should be a quite cognitive, objective, intelligent, even emotionally intelligent person, this is representing somebody who's blocked. They have a wall up. And again, with this, with this four of pentacles, this is someone who has a wall up. On the other side here, we have major arcana strength and we have the emperor. You can come through with all the power you want and all the reason you want with this ace of pentacles. You can bring all kind of logical reasons. You can bring all kind of documentation and paperwork forward. You can convince them in every way to see the reality of things, or I don't know what this is, some, something that you're trying to show them or convince them about. But you get, when someone has that wall up, you can't break through that wall. Or if someone's in this mental prison, you can't break through that. You can, you know, even people who take pills and they're having, I'm not saying that Pisces, narcissistic personalities are having psychological disorders, but you can even, two things, you can give someone medication because they have an illness that needs to heal, but if they don't take their medication, it won't help them. You can also give someone medication to help with mental challenges or uh, yeah, deficiencies, but as long as they take the pills, it will. If they don't take the pills, it won't help. But you, let's say even someone who's in love with someone, and it makes no logical sense because let's say the person is bad and you can tell them everything you want. This is the worst person in the world. You shouldn't love them. But the heart knows what the heart knows. And you can't, especially with caring here, you can't convince someone not to love someone, even if you're the emperor, even if you're major arcana strength, even if you use all reason with this ace of swords. It's an eye of cups. The heart knows what the heart knows. This could be about a love situation. This could be just about anything that's near and dear to the heart of the Pisces. When they are acting at their lowest basis point, you can't bring rhyme to reason. There's no rhyme to reason here. See how you can best manage this because I feel like reason isn't going to work. Let me see what that was. That was five, four, three. This is trying to reason with someone. You can't. You can't. You can try as you will, but I don't feel like you're going to get very far with the Pisces right now. So what can they do? You're dealing with the Pisces, narcissistic personality, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What can be done? What can be done to help? Pisces, narcissistic personality. of wands presenting new ideals new fantasies distractions especially with this knight rider the little knight of swords here it's like um, distractions pleasurable dis distractions uh, distractions that beat the senses as well uh, food, even parties, get-togethers, letting them see other people do it a different way, letting them see other people behaving a different way. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. Again, I just, it's with this four of pentacles and the two of swords, it just feels to me like everything makes sense. You know, because with the eight of pentacles, this is, this is something that makes sense, especially when you're talking about skills or technical skills. Uh, this is something that makes sense. 
you don't learn nonsensical things. You learn things that a value that makes sense. Um, survival skills. Um, it's uh, it's not catching. It's not capturing the Pisces uh, right now. They're they're really blocked. They really have their wall up. So to get the wall down, you have to entice them, especially with the Piper here. You have to entice them out of this um, position, stance. Uh, trying to convince them with logic isn't going to work is what I'm trying to say. Trying to con convince them with might, with this major arcana strength and major arcana, the emperor, even the conqueror. You're not going to conquer them like that. Not with logic. Still with Pisces narcissistic personality right now. What can help? I'm gonna pull one of the good tarot. We have the Queen of Swords now on top, the King of Swords. My goodness. You guys, if you like the reading, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. We have the Hermit, Major Arcana. The emperor on top of the emperor. You will do better just to leave them with the hermit and with the queen of swords. So look, this is interesting. On one side, we have the king and queen of swords. This is such a similar presentation of the energy here. On the other side, what do we have? We have the emperor that came up two times. And then in the middle, we have the Hermit with the Eight of Pentacles. The Pisces needs this right now, even if it's a narcissistic personality. Whatever they're going through, you're not going to change it. And you're not going to convince them. You have a chance if you just let them think things through and come to a logical position. Um, but they're going to have to find their way on their own. You won't be able to reason with them. Not right now. It won't be a success. So let's see what final advice we can give for those of you who are dealing with the narcissistic Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have transformation. This is death. I'm going to go ahead and read that to you. Very important messages here, I think, for... Anyone who's dealing with the Pisces, it doesn't have to be a narcissist in this case, even though all the other readings have been, with the exception of Aquarius, was also a bit different. So this is change. Uh, nothing remains the same, and I need to accept that life evolves through cycles of birth, death, and rebirth. Now is a time of transition as things are changing from one form to another. I need to allow this to happen for the highest good. I am called to let go old so I can welcome the new. So I'm not getting a lot of things from this. I don't think I can go into all of them. But uh, I think I I think the card says a lot and I would just with major arcana transformation with this which is death and with major arcana the hermit sitting at the middle of the reading I would just take more of a hands off approach. Um, you're not going to win with might. Even when strength is here, she's not forcefully prying. The lion's mouth open. She's not forcefully confronting the challenge or the obstacles. She's using something else. She's using kindness. You see this even. She's using kindness. And she's using other powers that are more mysterious to control and convince this element in the mind. It's not going to work, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. It's a very interesting reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit the thumbs up and come back and see me again soon. Bye-bye.